So why do I do this? Why do I do this? <laughs> why do I YouTube? Why do I hike and torture my body, uh, so to speak, and go to great lengths to produce a video for you? And I have a couple reasons for this. So number one, I love to backpack. I love nature. I love the wild country. I love the wilderness. I grew up on a farm and so that lent itself to having a great appreciation for the outdoors and all my life I wanted to move to the city. I lived on a farm for over 40 years. I wanted always to move to the city but then I did and things changed. After I moved to the city I craved the wilderness, the outdoors, and when I started hiking and exploring the backcountry, it all seemed to make sense to me. I found solitude, I found greater meaning for my life, and I found myself. And so then, I had a friend, um, the Greg Escape. <laughs> so Greg persuaded me to film and edit some videos for YouTube. So that's kind of when I started dabbling in YouTube. I I was very green at editing. I had never edited videos before. Uh, some of those videos, to be perfectly frank, were awful. <laughs> awful. And I still have them. I don't want to take them down because they're still a great adventure, but I may someday redo them. And um, who knows, you you may be able to enjoy the uh, vistas and the views that I saw back then from a deeper, from a better editing perspective, so to speak, in the future. And another reason why I started is because my lifestyle, so I work independently, I'm, I work for myself, I have no boss, I don't get a paycheck, I invoice my clients and they pay me for the services that I do, but I work for myself. And so having said that, I did this life for, I just worked for myself in my own house for four or five years and I asked myself the question, why am I still in Winnipeg? I can work from anywhere in the world. Why am I still here? And so that started me thinking, where am I going to travel to? What's my next destination? <laughs> um, so that's, that's kind of why I started this channel. Uh, I wanted to share my adventures with you and I want to see the backcountry of the world. I want to see, I want to do things that very few people are fortunate or adventurous enough to do. Fortune is one thing, but adventure is a whole other ballgame. But I will always crave adventures and I want to share my fortune with you. So challenges, challenges in the beginning. Uh, yeah, I mentioned I didn't know how to edit before. <laughs> I had no, I had zero editing skills. And so that was a big challenge to navigate those software programs. And I tried a few, um, but it was a big learning curve for me. And sound editing and uh, cuts and B-roll and all these terms, they were all foreign to me. I had no idea how to do this, zero experience, and so that was a big learning curve. Another curve is every place that I go. So I'm in Bolivia right now, it's beautiful. Um, but every place that I go, I have to figure stuff out. And sometimes I have my car, my Jeep, um, I used to, uh, but here in Bolivia, I don't have wheels, I have no car, I have to navigate the bus, I have to figure it out, I have to figure out public transport, I have to figure out the places that I want to see, I have to meet new people all the time, I, and I love meeting new people, um, I have to learn about each place as I go. And so that's why I like to spend 
five, six months at a time in a place because then I can really breathe. Breathe is the word. I can really breathe in a place and get to know the place without the hustle bustle like bang, 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 you go here, 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 and you know, everything's always rolling. I'm kind of more a relaxed person than that, so I like to spend a little bit more time in each place. So some of the struggles that I've had so far in my journey, I had a, I lived through a hurricane in Mexico. I survived a car crash in Idaho where my Jeep landed upside down on its roof on a sketchy mountain road at night miles from nowhere what else what else were the struggles uh oh, just getting up the hills sometimes i struggle to hike those elevations i hike sometimes 400 500 stories at a time and it's tough at times i'm over 50. it's it's tough it's tough what keeps me going? Oh, okay, what keeps me going? Um, so what keeps me going is a desire to pursue those wilderness areas, to share them with you, to promote awareness of ecotourism and respect for our land and the animals that live in it. I have a strong desire to seek solitude and to just drop everything that we know in this world and see the other side. Because there's a whole nother side to the world. Once you get out into the wilderness and you get away from this hustle and bustle, all the people, there is another world out there. And that's what I desire to find every place I go. My aspirations, my dreams. Mm. So some of my dreams and my fears are, uh, I, I really dream of being able to travel like this for a long time, seeing new countries, seeing different things, um, different mountain peaks, different lakes, and um, different scenarios. I do hope I aspire that my channel grows and can support myself, but if not, I am supporting myself financially in other means through my work. With support of people like you, I appreciate that this channel grows and can support me a little bit, uh, and I really appreciate that. Some of my fears, oh, so every time I move to a different country, I am afraid. <laughs> I am afraid. Every time I move to a different place, I have to figure things out. I have to figure out where everything is, how everything works, who I need to talk to. Um, in Bolivia here, I need to extend my stay because you're only allowed a stay of 90 days as a Canadian citizen. I don't have a visa and so I went to the migration office two days ago and I figured out what I all needed. Uh, that's another video. Another thing I fear when I move to a different place is just trying to figure out where the hikes are, where these gorgeous, beautiful places are that I can go to and explore without a whole bunch of tourists. Like I am going to Machu Picchu and I admit that's going to be tourist ridden, lots of people. Um, everybody does it and that's not my normal thing but still it will be fabulous to see because it is one of the seven wonders of the world and so just figuring everything out is a big big fear for me and the only way to do it is to do it the only way to overcome that fear is to do it so if you're wrestling with that decision whether you should go or whether you shouldn't or what's it gonna be like or what what's it what are you gonna do just go just go and figure it out you have the ability just do it and you have to have the motivation and the belief and then you have the ability I always fear when I put out a new video I always fear if it's going to resonate with you I don't know if the content that I am creating is valuable to you and that's where I really appreciate your comments and I I put a video out with you in mind but also 
having no clue <laughs> because let's face it I don't really know who you are unless you're like my family or friends I don't really know who you are and all I'm going by is maybe your comments or your channel and that's it that's all I have to go by so guys I've I think I've talked enough <laughs> I don't usually talk this much <laughs> but I think I've I've shared enough for now I just encourage you if you're wrestling with a decision to choose this lifestyle for yourself I say yes just do it just do it work towards it it took me seven years to condition my life to be able to do this but yes just do it and don't don't look back that's the other thing don't look back um, because when you doubt yourself when you start self-doubting that's when all those negative thoughts creep in and you'll convince yourself that you can't do it. You will, because you can't if you think that way. If your mindset is like that, you can't do it. But if you change your mindset, you'll be able to accomplish anything you set your mind to. So on that note, I will say bye. I will say I am so grateful that this channel is supported by you and that I can continue doing this and that I have you as a follower I thank you so much I appreciate that it's only possible with you and I encourage you to watch this other video down here and until next time happy trekking bye